Greetings world. We are anonymous. Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. It all started in January of 2018, when a Calgary police officer was charged with criminal harassment and breach of trust in connection with an alleged domestic matter. The charges are related to a complaint dating back to September 1, 2015. The breach of trust charge relates to an alleged use of CPS information technology resources during the alleged offense. Then in February an 11-year member of the Calgary Police Service has been charged with uttering threats following an off-duty domestic incident. The member was arrested and has been charged by the RCMP. The domestic incident happened in a neighboring municipality. The member was on an unrelated leave at the time of the incident and remained on leave. Three current and former service members accused of targeting mother in custody battle. For the third time in a week, a Calgary police officer has testified he worked for a private investigator despite being aware his second job was against CPS policy. The three officers are on trial for corruption-related offenses stemming from the work they did for a private investigator firm which had been hired to follow a woman in the middle of a custody battle. The constable invoked a section of the Canada Evidence Act which protects him from incriminating himself during his testimony. He is the second CPS officer to do so and their third officer to admit to working a job in violation of the police act. They worked for the Waltons, firm that was hired by a multimillionaire, who wanted full custody of the daughter he shared with the woman. CPS has a policy that the chief's office must sign off on any outside employment. The three big no-no's which are never approved are security work employment in a licensed establishment, and driving a taxi. Security work would be a conflict of interest, according to other police witnesses who testified earlier in the trial. Texts between two Calgary police officers discussing payments for information from police databanks were made in jest, but Morton insisted he was never paid for the data which came from the Canadian Police Information Centre, or the Police Information Management System databases. As of April 27, 2018, the group of police officers were found guilty on for misappropriating CPS computers to further their own work at a private investigation firm and criminally harassing a woman involved in a custody battle with her partner. The court heard that all three officers pocketed thousands for their work monitoring the movements. In March 2018, a Calgary police constable has been charged with possessing, accessing and making child pornography available. Investigators searched his Calgary home and seized a number of electronic devices and computers. Alert received an RCMP referral regarding an unknown social media user uploading child exploitation materials. ICE was able to identify the user through its investigation. According to Alert, the unit only recently discovered the suspect was a police officer. The officer was charged with possessing, accessing and distributing child pornography. He was arrested and spent a night in custody because of a glitch with the paperwork. He was released on bail on a number of conditions, including that he not have contact with children unless supervised by another adult. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.